Terry, I, I want to ask you two questions, and they're both big questions, and so I don't want to lose sight of them by putting them together. But just you t hearing you talk about the importance of empathy, um, do, do you think there's more that we should be doing in society to teach empathy? So especially when it comes to our, our kids in particular and, and teaching them empathy as, as they grow up. That's the first question. And the second question speaks very much to what you were just talking about, the sort of the, the suffering and the anger at situations that have happened to us. Um, and, and, and I want to talk to you about sort of reconciliation and healing. How do you move from anger to sort of a, a place of reconciliation? So the first question is about empathy uh, and do we need to teach that in our society? And the second is, talk to us about how you convert that anger into something that becomes, you know, moves towards healing and reconciliation in a, in a society, in a community. Well, the first one, the first one on empathy, I mean, it's, a, it's an enormous subject you want to ask, but I'm just, just to give one, one example, one instance. I think we should check ourselves to say, when we're talking about other people, um, to look at the neg possibly negative stereotypes, negative stereotypes of, of other people, uh, negative stereotypes of the, um, I, I'm afraid, have you lost me now? No, we're still there, Terry. You, you're still fine. Oh, I beg your pardon. Sorry, I thought you'd lost me. Um, we have negative, we, we, negative stere stereotypes of people from other backgrounds, other races, other religions. You know, there's a very strong negative stereotype of uh, people, of some people from the Islamic faith. Well, the way to get around that is to get to know people, to get to talk to people, to get to understand people, not just to allow people to be wrapped up in their own ghetto. In other words, you begin to teach empathy by bringing people together, by bringing people together from different backgrounds, getting to understand each other. That is a way in which we can work and, and recognizing negative stereotypes for what they are. They are negative stereotypes. Recognize them and get behind them to the person. And when you do that, as I was able to do that to a degree, with revolutionary guards in Iran, see them as human beings, see them as people. Don't always agree. You don't always have to agree with what people do. You could disagree with what they do but you can still understand them as a person. And I think that's something we, we, sh we should be doing. And that is the way, that is the way to re reconciliation. The way to reconciliation is this, to try and understand why people are behaving as they're behaving, to try and get to that point. Why is it you're doing what you're doing, which is causing so much division? What is it that's motivating you? What are your grudges? Try and understand. You don't have to agree. But you can under, if you can understand, you can begin to find ways of building bridges. As a result of that, Terry, are you, are you able to rationalise what happened to you? Are you able to find peace with that? Oh, yeah, I, I don't have it. I mean, I let myself in for it. Um, and I, I, looking back on it, I mean, obviously, I, don't, I wouldn't want to go through that experience again. Of course I wouldn't. Would I do what I did? Would I... Uh, do what I did again, I hope I would stand by the principle. And the principle is you, as best you, I, let, let me, let me preface this by saying, I am no saint. I mean, I haven't always behaved in uh, the most honorable way in life. I certainly haven't. And I'm not claiming that for one, but there comes a time in life when sometimes you say, I really must do what I know is right and what I believe to be right. And you do it, you do it, you get on. And I would say, looking back, in principle, I'd hope I'd have the courage to do what I did to follow that principle of not letting people down at a time when they're in extreme need and saying, I want to do everything I can, even if it's going to cost me everything. Um, I hope I would still have that within me to do that. I don't know if I would or not, but I hope I would. <laughs>